back to the 90s! Boom shakalaka! My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. My flows hit you at straight 88 miles per hour. That's enough to generate 1.21 gigawatts, son. And I'm on the run from the Libyans. It was a straight jack move for plutonium. And when they van rolls up, it's pandemonium. 1.18 a.m. at Twin Pines Mall is when I can pinpoint my total downfall. Now they say doc Greetings and salutations, it's your boy Big G, aka Nostalgia, and I am joined today by a very, very special guest, Marguerite Moreau, aka number 18 for the Mighty Ducks, Connie Moreau. Hi Marguerite, Ooh. how are you? I'm doing my own cheering. <laughs> Your own cheering yeah. section. Yeah, how are you, I'm Marguerite? great. Thanks for having me, really good. Great to have you. How's the last year been for you? How's the 2020 leading into 2021? How's it been going? Well, I like 2021 in April, that's for sure. My son just went back to school and being a kindergarten teacher for the first time, I'm very humbled by what real teachers do. It's been a tough year. We're coming out the other side. I know, it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> he was at school all day today. I got so much work done. Okay, can I take you back, Marguerite, to 1991? Mm. A long time ago. Cool, let's time travel. I'm you by saying that. What, no, no. What happened to put you in the Mighty Ducks? Was there auditions? You know, how did it work? Because there were so many kids in the film. Did you all get together? Right. Did you have auditions together? How did it work? Uh, well, so I had my first of three auditions and I didn't really remember it or, or anything. They didn't have any sides for Connie. It's just one of the other boys. And then at my callback, I was moving from one city to another. And it was the day you go around and you have all your teachers sign, sign you out to officially like um, deregister for class or whatever they call it. And uh, my dad had, was like lifting couches into the moving truck and like put the couch down picked me up and drove me an hour and a half to this callback for this thing I couldn't even really remember. And then we moved and I didn't hear anything. And I think I was trying out for some dance thing or something like right away at the new school. And I just couldn't do this jump thing because I don't jump very high. And uh, I was like, mom, I'm so crushed. I, don't, I just don't think I'm gonna make the team. And she's like, You're, I don't think you are either. I was like, how could you say that? How? how you're my, you're my cheerleader. Like, what the heck? She's like, because you're going to Minnesota on Monday. You booked that movie, The Mighty Ducks. You're going to be gone for six months. And it was my first movie. I had just moved to a new town. And then I was gone like that. I didn't know I was in the whole movie, but they said six months. I read the script and I show up. And on the first day, they throw us all onto the ice with skates and a, a hockey coach. And we're like, this is how you tape your pads. These are your socks. You're taking these home. You're wearing them with wet socks inside so you can break down your skates. Like, they just made us a team from the second we got to Minneapolis. It was great. So it was like a big boot camp for you all. Oh, yes. And in fact, when I was watching uh, the new kids for the Game Changers uh, new show, uh, watching them on set, I was like, where's your coach? Are you guys doing circles? What are you doing? I want to do it. Come on. I just like having these fantasies of going back to hockey camp now. Oh, flashbacks. Yeah, yeah. Or like desires for more hockey. You know, it could go either way. <laughs> Good memories, some good memories. Mm. I mean, it was such a big cast. Uh, obviously, I saw a picture of you guys. You reunited a few years ago at a game. And obviously, right now, we're up to episode five of Game Changers on Disney+. Plus. Anybody who hasn't watched it, go watch Game Changers. It's amazing. We're watching episode six this week, and I believe there is going to be a few special guests making an appearance. Yep, we're coming back to the fold, I tell you. And it was fun and hard to remember. I'm supposed to be playing an adult with children. I was putting on my gear again and going, you're not the 12 year old Connie, but it was so hard. You just have like this sense memory of everything on and like the helmet. And I think I had like, would wear, walk like this because I wore a helmet for so many hours a day for like my entire high school career. <laughs> How fun was it to see the other guys? Obviously you got special relationship with Guy Garrett Radcliffe, mm -hmm. um, obviously Fulton Reed, Banksy, uh, I think 
Dave Men's oh. in there as well, isn't he? And Kenny mm-hmm. Wu's back as well. Yeah. It wasn't until I mean, actually looking who's going to be in it that I realised Guy and Fulton are brothers in real life. Yeah. No idea at all. They don't look anything like each other. <laughs> I know. Um, I don't know why that is, but it was, you know, it was stupid fun. I mean, we, when you spend that much time with someone, even though you don't necessarily see them all the time uh, throughout the years, it's like family, you slip right back in. You can kind of be like, Hey, what's going on? But like right away you drop all of that and you're just right back where you were all that time ago. It's really special. You don't get that kind of thing often with that many people too. Uh, it was a great special bond. Showed in the films as well, uh, how close you guys were. Uh, while we're mentioning the cast, I just wanted to say, um, Sean Vice, um, we're all thinking about you. Uh, yeah. You seems to be back on the right path. Uh, Sean, hit us up, let us all know that you're well. Uh, best of luck, Sean. We're all rooting for you. Thank you for saying that. I really appreciate it. You know, the internet can be kind of a crazy place and they, sometimes people forget that they're like really humans that are struggling and just trying to live their life day to day out there. So that means a lot. I mean, everybody's been, I mean, we grew up with the guy. I mean, not just in Mighty Ducks, heavyweights. I mean, the guy's always been there. Um, Mighty Ducks, I don't think words can put into it. When you think about sports films, People think about like Rocky and, you know, remember the Titans. Like Mighty Ducks is right up there. Um, <laughs> for one thing, just for the impact it had on its own sport. Um, I mean, ice hockey was big, but like at my story, for instance, in Manchester in England, kind of knew about ice hockey, not really interested. Mighty Ducks comes out. All of a sudden, Manchester has their own ice hockey team, the Manchester Storm. And they're selling out 18,000 people in the stadium. Yeah, it was called the 9X. You know, we had our own, it was literally Mighty Ducks came out a couple of years later, got our own. And there's these guys playing ice hockey who were like part timers, you know, couldn't make it in the NHL. And they're Mm -hmm. there in front of 18,000 people in Manchester and they're all going crazy. And, you know, it's. Well, that's how football started, right? (laughs) Yeah. Well, it's just massive the impact Mighty Ducks had on ice hockey around the world. I've got chills when you were telling me that. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, you probably didn't notice it, obviously, with you being in Minnesota. You said you were filming in Minnesota, obviously. North Star yeah. from there, and now you've got the Wild there and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Ice hockey's a big deal where you are. Um, but I kind of put it in the same context as what Tiger Woods did with golf, where it kind of made put a big light on it for people who don't see it as much. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I was a girl on a boys team, but they never really treated Connie as like a token girl. She just was one of the guys in a sense, like she's just on the team. But I have gotten so much um, feedback over the years that women have watched that and, and had played competitively and forced leagues of their own. Uh, and now it's in the Olympics. And I don't attribute that to the Mighty Ducks solely, of course, but it has uh, been something that has been a lot of feedback that has been nice to hear that representation really matters and seeing something out there can really introduce it to a bunch more people. Yeah, I mean, there must be players now in the NHL who grew up watching these films. Okay, that's and crazy. Now like, oh yeah, <laughs> as kids watching the Mighty Ducks, I was like, oh yeah, I'll give that a try. And now, you know, they're in the NHL and things like that. Uh. It's awesome. That's I mean, awesome. Disney did sports films right, especially in the 90s. You know, mm. Mighty Ducks, Cool Runnings, Remember mm-hmm. the Titans. Yeah. I mean, you want a feel-good film, you stick on Mighty Ducks or Cool Runnings and your emotions are like all the way up and down. Yeah, it's fun in the new show to hear like the old sound soundtrack come in. They're using some of that same kind of iconic music to uh connect to the world and every time i hear the french horns my heart kind of catches and of course you know it's very special to me because it's my childhood but uh it's been so fun to connect with fans during this time i feel like i'm in a little bit of a nostalgia like sweet spot um celebrating the mighty ducks and i've been pulling out my jerseys and pulling out my pictures and really getting to share all these things that uh it's like having the context means a lot. It's really fun. Speaking of the jerseys. I which, love it. Which jersey is your favorite? 
Well, one is class, one is classica. You know, it's very classic. Number one, number two, I look really good in red, white, and blue. I really just love it. It's one of my favorites. But then also, I was from Orange County, where the new Mighty Ducks and Mighty Ducks Two is so good. You can't ask a girl to pick. That's not fair. The Black Hawks jersey, <sighs> the Banksy one. I would never. <laughs> I, I was gonna, I've got it. I was going to hang it up and then I was like, uh. well, we got him in the end. So you could, it is a great <laughs> Jersey. I'm sad. There's no, that not the same Jersey in the, the game changers. And I don't know why that is. I, I asked, but I can't remember what they said. Yeah. I don't want to uh, ruin it for the fans who haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it on, get on Disney plus go watch game changers. Cause if you think it's, you know, the mighty ducks of old, the mighty ducks have certainly changed. Don't want to ruin it for anyone, but it ain't the Mighty Ducks of Connie Banksy and Charlie Conway anymore. No, I mean, you know, time, time will reveal all, I guess. And then I'll have to get the new jersey as well, I suppose. <laughs> I know, I just went to a breakout night at uh, the Anaheim Ducks. And so they had all the jerseys, including one that I'd never even seen before was like Wild Wing um, in full hockey gear playing hockey. I'd never seen that one before. See, I still follow the NHL, and I think it was the mid two thousands when they changed the logo to like, and I was like, nah. Yeah, I hear you. It ain't the same. <laughs> that was hard for me. It was. <laughs> they changed the logo. Hurt. I know, uh, but you know the fans really do love all of that, and they said actually when I was there, they said that that's their biggest in terms of their fan engagement is all of the stuff before they change their branding. That's when they turn up all over the place, their fans. So it's good to know that even though the team itself had to like survive probably what was eat for their egos pretty hard to be like a Disney team to that, you know, that that's like what the fans really said, hey, there's nothing to be ashamed of. That's great. We love it. You're the underdogs. So speaking of the NHL, in the mm-hmm. second film, yeah, got to meet Wayne Gretzky. <sighs> Cross my oh my goodness! I mean, and we did ha- you understand? Just I mean, in the Pantheon, I mean Mount Rushmore. It's you know Wayne Gretzky, Michael Jordan, you know Tiger Woods, Michael Schumacher. I mean, we're talking elite, not just ice hockey, but like of all sports. Wayne Gretzky. Did you guys like proper geek out, or did you have any idea? I think I had a proper amount to not to not freak out and not be able to talk and to watch all the um, different gentlemen on the crew who are much older than me, like very, very kindly, like walk up with the stick. And, and Wayne was like very, Mr. Gretzky was very open and very friendly in his Canadian way. But I remember just sitting and chatting with him as we set up a shot because we happened to be standing next to each other before we like all come in. And I was probably at that age, like, I had, was in my first movie, so I put myself, I'd see where the camera was, and they'd be like, everybody just sort of come in the room, and I'd be, let's go right next to whoever was talking, <laughs> so I could like watch and learn, but I'm like, there, I got to just see how he handled so much attention, and, and it wasn't even like people were going, hey, 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 it's just the room energy changed when he walked in, but he, of course, we were kids, he was so nice, and we couldn't get him to, to put skates on and come out with us, but... <laughs> We would have if we could have. So, well, I just want to finish with one thing, Connie. Oh, sorry. I agree. I mean, just, you must get that a million times. <laughs> sure, it's fine. Outside of Mighty Ducks, mm-hmm. there are some highlights, especially for like our fans who are, you know, big 80s, 90s, early 2000s nostalgia fans. Can I run off a quick list for you outside of Mighty Ducks? Sure. Free Willy. Mighty Joe oh. Young, Third mm-hmm. Rock from the Sun, Secret <laughs> Word of Alex Mack, Boy Meets World, Smallville. I mean, it's a nostalgia like nerdgasm when you hear shows like that. I mean, outside of the Mighty Ducks, what's been the one show that you've got casting where you're like, oh my God, it's so cool? Uh, Shameless, but that's not from back then. Do you want me to say from back then? I mean, if Shameless is your favourite, I mean... Yeah, I think so. Just because it's so irreverent, so funny. Um, and I don't know, just another one of these characters that's not concerned with like 
you know, she's not presenting. She just is. Uh, she is super fun to play. Here. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. just to clarify, the American Shameless, not the British Shameless. Yes. The English fans who are watching. We've yes, seen both. True. Well, mm -hmm. just in case you go looking for Frank Gallagher, it's the American one. <laughs> That's true, Brits. <laughs> Marguerite, I want to thank you so much, not just for uh, coming chatting to us today, but for being such such a massive part of our childhoods, of our teen years. I mean, the free film stretched over some time, but I mean, even now, they hold up with the greatest sports films, the greatest Disney films, I mean, the greatest kids films. I mean, they make the top of the list for everything. I want to thank you so much, Marguerite. And can I just finish by saying to all the kids out there, ducks fly together. Ducks fly together. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marguerite. Take care. Thank you for having me. That was so cool. Getting to speak to Connie Moreau, one of the original Mighty Ducks. I just want to take a moment to say a big thank you to Margaret Moreau for taking the time out to have a chat with us and also to Eileen who arranged this for us. Thank you so much. Like we said in the video, the first five episodes are already out of Game Changers, Mighty Ducks. Go and watch them. Episode six is airing on Friday with the original Mighty Ducks making a special guest appearance. So excited. Can't wait to see the old ducks back again. I've got another special guest lined up for next week. You guys will have to wait and see who it is. Big surprise though. Can't wait to show you guys this one. If you guys are liking the interviews with these special guests, make sure you're liking the videos. Subscribe to the channel and comment as well. And let me know the kind of guests you want me to line up for more interviews. Remember, this channel is as much yours as it is mine. So let me know the kind of guests you want me to book and I'll get onto them and see who I can get. And I'll see you next time. Nostalgia out.